On December 8, 2020, Pope Francis announced a year of St. Joseph in honor of one of his favorite saints and the patron saint of the Universal Church. At a time when a global pandemic has forced millions to live hidden away, isolated and alone, we can see Joseph as a model of the hidden life and someone who understands our struggles with illness. I'll explain why in a moment, but first I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And you can read my full reflection at americamedia.org. So what do we know about our patron and companion, Joseph? Not much. After all, there are only a few lines written about him in the Gospels. We know he was of King David's line and engaged to a young woman from Nazareth. Mary was found quite unexpectedly to be pregnant. But Joseph, the scriptures tell us, was a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace. And so he planned to dissolve the engagement quietly. So even before Jesus was born, Joseph's tender compassion and forgiving heart were on full display. There are only a few stories about the boy Jesus before he began his public ministry. Those years when Jesus was an adolescent and young adult, often called the hidden life, were Joseph's time. A time spent caring for his foster son and teaching him carpentry. In Joseph's workshop in Nazareth, Jesus would have learned about the raw materials of his craft, which wood was best suited for chairs and tables, which worked best for yokes and plows. Joseph would have taught Jesus the right way to drive a nail with a hammer to drill a clean and deep hole into a plank and to level a ledge or lintel. Joseph would also have passed on to Jesus the values required to become a good carpenter. You need patience for waiting until the wood is dry and ready. Good judgment for ensuring that your plumb line is straight. Persistence for sanding until the tabletop is smooth. And honesty for charging people a fair price. Alongside Joseph, a young Jesus learned and labored, contributing all the while to the common good of Nazareth and the surrounding towns. It is not difficult to imagine that the virtues Jesus learned from his adoptive father, patience, judgment, persistence, and honesty, served him well in his later ministry. As Jesus matures and starts his ministry, Joseph disappears from the gospel narratives. For example, Joseph is not listed among the guests at the wedding feast at Cana, which marked the beginning of the public ministry of Jesus. Did he die before his son had reached adulthood? Several years ago, at an art exhibit at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in New York City, I came upon a large portrait entitled The Death of St. Joseph by Francisco Goya. In it, an ailing Joseph lies in bed, and standing beside his bed, is a youthful looking Jesus, perhaps 16 or 17 years old, wearing a long tunic, eyes trained intently on Joseph. Sitting by the bed is Mary. Goya's painting beautifully captures the sadness that must have surrounded the early death of Joseph. A similar sadness has been with us for many months, the sadness that surrounds the deaths of so many from COVID. Joseph is traditionally invoked as the patron of a happy death, but his could not have been a happy death for Jesus or Mary. The Gospels tell us nothing about their mourning. There are no lines about Mary's grief, no verses about Jesus' sadness. So the Holy Family is like many families today who grieve the loss of parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, and children during this pandemic. Much of their grief, too, must be done in isolation not appearing in any headlines. The hiddenness of Joseph's life can also speak to those overwhelmed by the pandemic, who wonder if God is with them, if God sees. Appearing only briefly in the Gospels, given no words at all to speak, Joseph leads a life of quiet service to God, a life that remains almost totally unknown to us. And yet his life, filled with countless hidden, unseen, unrecorded acts of love was of infinite value. Joseph's life says to all of us, God sees. His hidden life is intimately shared by millions of people making their way through the pandemic. 
the healthcare worker on the front lines whose sacrifices are hidden even from her family, the single parent who's alone and intensely worried about her children, the adult child of an aging parent living in a nursing home, terrified about the spread of illness among elderly residents, all of the people who have no way of working from home, the checkout person, the public transit worker, the maintenance person, the people barely eking out a living before this year's economic crisis, the priest who has celebrated countless funerals for COVID victims and their families, worried that he wasn't able to comfort them as he would hope to, the COVID patient dying alone, weeping in frustration and anguish, wondering what is happening. So many hidden lives, so many unseen acts of love in this pandemic, so many secret prayers raised to heaven. The husband of Mary and foster father of Jesus understands them all. Saint Joseph, patron of the hidden life, patron in this pandemic, pray for us this year and forever. The link to my full reflection on the year of St. Joseph is below. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this from America Media.